Rosh for 2007 round, and uh, we'll be using the Hoover A3060 Electronic 1100. It's the oldest machine, probably the oldest one you've seen, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to do a lot of darks in there. Although, Mikey did say that Candy was 1978. Oh, okay. Actually, no, oh, yeah. no then, then, this then, is 78 as well. Then Luke said it was actually probably 1982. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we don't know who to believe. So, I thought 1978 originally, but because Luke said about that sticker on it, so oh, he said that's probably later on. I always forget to do it with gems, I just, I never put the plastic thing, I just leave it on top like that. Yeah, and, and we're doing dual recording, so this is, so yours will probably appear on your channel when? Probably, I, pro I've probably got, I've got like another two videos up there before I can do it. This will probably be uploaded in like two, three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I love when Spencer came around, his appeared first before I could put the machine on. <laughs> right, we don't put the conditioner in first because otherwise it just takes it in during the second rinse. So, yeah, look, cow gone, look at that. Cow gone's having every wash just due to uh, uh, your hard water very area. Very hard. And mine's like super soft where I am. I've got shot, but I've got to switch on the. Because it was already. I feel. Switch on the hot water. Oh, is that the leaky solenoid it did? Let it. This? Yeah, it literally was dropping hot water in, and I came back from Mikey's to find it flooded the kitchen. And what was all on the floor, I was like, oh, okay. Ah, okay. So, so this one, push in. Do you want to program it? Yeah, I know it's... So, hang on. This one there. Very sweet. See? So we've got one Calgon tab. You have to, I know. It's no fabric softener? No, not yet, anyway. We, we could put it in a lot of We're going to explain this later on, but basically... Well, we'll explain it later on. Oh, um, so we're going to select program to push it in. Push in and turn. turn. In. Uh, <laughs> program you, yeah. D. And then, do we press any buttons? Uh, so you've got the wool action. The middle one is fast spin, and but if you whether you just select it or not. Hang on, wool's 800 RPM. That's 1100 RPM. That's 500, 500 RPM, yeah. basically. So if you do. Whether you select any of the options or you press the fast and button, it still does 1100. So at that setting, it will do 1100. Now. So do 1100 with no option yeah. pushed in, but press it in, push it, it in, it's it still 1100. Still does 1100. 800, 500. Yeah, but if you do that, then you can both come out. See? Yeah. <laughs> well, I just tend to it's press a bit like anyway. the AEG yeah. I had as well, because the AEG 605 is the same. It's preset the... to 1200, even though there's a 1200 button. Yeah, I just don't understand why it's like that. And then we pull out, pull out to the start. Da -da. And for the vintage machine, it dual fills the six. Where have you gone? No! Oh, it reset. Up. Oh no. I recover quick. It does recover it. Oh, oh that's good. Yeah. Because it, cause it shut off for no reason. So it knows. <clears throat> so you get to see like 30 seconds of filling more on uh, You still Florence Ballard on um, YouTube. Yeah. Channel. Yeah. I'll put the link in down below. And you guys know which washer two thousand. He's the number one washer uh, channel. Hang on, let me check who Hugo Flory's channel. Oh, Hugo. <laughs> well, they get I'm ready. still filling with hot water. Let's take the hot water for a second. That looks weird with the person jams. I oh, know. I didn't miss cassette and it was all over the door glass by the first, still in the first rinse. Mm. There you are, it's topped up again. <clears throat> oh, still, yeah, it's still it's hot still water. taking hot water in. You hear the time of groan on this. Swirlpools. We've got aquiline to it. Yeah, they grow them as well. Saying that, I think we'll, you know the Maloney stuff as well from the 80s did that as well. Yeah, they did. Like the because... caravels and whatnot. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, the, uh, one of the best mates from Chad, from Chad. Um, his mum had a Phillips Whirlpool. AWG something. Oh. But it was Maloney, 850. Rob's done. I just want 
posted on the Sotoff once. And a, a brown version. Oh. A brown and white. But this one was all white. Oh, yes, a brown, yeah, a brown and white version. Um, but this was all white. And what actually it is, is if you select the half spin, you get another cycle. Yeah, exactly. So white's economy is basically white special spin with the half spin button. Yeah. So you're actually getting like two programs each. So what would White's economy do? Heat from cold? No. I think it's the same process. Unless it holds it under six. No, what is it? It's still 95. Well, no, because if that's special finish, it would say 9 over 95. Right, well. Because special finish is Unless it's just nine. a slow spin then that maybe counts. Possibly. I need to do the minimum. I've not even tried the minimum. Oh, so why is heavy soils with a pre wash? That's like, basically that program B on this is also pre wash. So there's two pre washes, isn't there? Yeah, there's the A, which is the manual like pre wash. So, how would you do this for Because what you'll notice on the rinse is, it actually advances and it's got a delicate tumble section. So, it'll do the normal cotton, then it advances, then it's got a delicate tumble. So, it's where the timer would go if you selected the all cycle. Right. But it still incorporates it. So, the first rinse is like quite long on this, yeah. And the way it's grown, yeah. Yeah, This is the other thing that people, that people don't understand about older machines. You're not supposed to like shove everything in so it's like you can't cram everything in. Yeah, you're supposed to do it at least. If you do it full, you just, make sure it's going to calm down. You put it up to full, you put it full loosely, don't you? Yeah, you don't, not to the point where you can't. Actually, start putting. Because the rule is, you must, you must be able to get your hand in like and over the top and push down and load. Must get to the back, right. and that's a full load. Now you'll see what the machine will do. Oh, yeah, it's just advanced twice. Now look at the tumbles. See, oh, yeah, delicate. delicate. It's, it's so if it was on wool, it would just advance straight, straight away. To that. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's a funny sound, it's the funniest time I've ever heard. What's the, what's the drain, and then. It might, because it won't the next thing, it'll, 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 you'll hear the pump, it's not even trying to drain at all, nothing, nothing at all. It'll quickly spin the next thing and you go, it'll start buzzing. Well, that was fun as a kid. That's, what, I think that's what actually got me into watching the <laughs> Watching it just spin. I used to run home to watch it spin in, in, in with full water. Well, my first machine was a Maloney, a 1990s Maloney Easy Wash or not, service. So I didn't was... get that 1200 one from there. Uh, oh, Mike, you told me to get it. I said, nah, I said, no, I'm not. Um, What's been with yours? We are, Thousands. I think it was on a thousand one. Yeah. I didn't even know they did the 1200 version. I thought it only went up to a thousand. I know they did the um, 600. Yeah. What amazes me though is that look at these brochures, there were lots of 600 versions. Yeah. Of, and even up to way up to 2000, there were still 600 yeah. versions. Tristy Benz doing the 850 up to 400. And it's like, where are they now? How come they're not on eBay? How come they're not on Facebook? Where are they? People bought them, but they just don't seem to. It's funny how back then 800 was like considered like our equivalent of like 18 on today. It was back then, it was like a. Revolution. I've got an eight. No, I'm saying that. Um, no, 800 is considered normal, like a 1200, so like 1400. Then 1000, you were like, okay, oh, that's getting faster. If you got 1200, that's like 1800 today. And then you got 1400 back then, that was like 2000, RPM. Yeah. In our first room. And it's the only room that will tumble at the start of some reason. Yeah. The other room is it just fills all the way out and then it goes. It was very interesting when I did get it, I was like, oh, I've never seen people programming like that. How long have you Samsung for Trees and stuff? This one's been, this is a new one we got. Mm -hmm. About a year ago we had it. It's a warranty. Yeah, what is that? That's what I'm going to get. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Brushless compressor. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, my nan has got the quick one. No, quick. I had one. Sam oh, Duncan has one. Cat flap on it. Oh. The eco bubble doesn't generate properly, it never fills enough. No, the eco bubble's fine. You can put no in there. No, that's what I want. <laughs> and even with a load of two small shirts, it seems like it's going to self destruct what it's going to do. I think it's, I don't know if the suspension's knackered on it or from brand new or big. The suspension's tiny though. Know? That's probably why. It's managed to gash the door glass on it as well. Yeah, a bit like that. Well, say that. Uh, the Becker's one. voice on that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, even like those eco cab muzzles, the dampers might be them smashing it as well. But I've always done it. It's just that the dampers. Or maybe it's just coming out more flat, that's all. Yeah. But generally, the dampers aren't that great on it, and it doesn't help now on the modern ones. But the door glass is not close to the drum. No, it doesn't help on the modern ones that the balance sensor doesn't kick in properly anymore on the. Uh, very quick or the you press fast. That's a hot point. I don't get why they switched off the out of balance sensor on the bullet cycle. Yeah, yeah. Oh the super sonic ones kept it going but they reduce the sensitivity, isn't it? No, they reduce the sensitivity. Because it, you only had two chances to re you could you, you really yeah, have to spin. I don't know. Just bearing in mind it distributes for about two minutes for active spinning. Whereas the hot one's like thirty seconds. But it's good though, because it gives it time to drain out everything. I can't allow it for two minutes then. For the hot points, if it wasn't draining fast enough. No, so <laughs> uh, I'm hungry. Not a steak bake here, actually, enough. the KFC on the way down, but because of the way it took me. Oh, because I thought you yeah, sure you'll pass on the line. Because I was going to go in the A50 way, and we're going to go A50, I'll oh, stop at KFC. <laughs> so I ended up having McDonald's on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, I was like, how come every service station you go, Costa gets ridiculous. Costa's already pricey, yeah. but it gets twice, twice yeah, as much. Yeah, that's the worst part. No McDonald's, it's like, it's the same price. The big the same price as it was, would be anywhere else. Or at least in um, because it's cheaper and it's cheaper where Luke is, because he's in Stoke. Yeah, or oh, it's cheaper there. It was like the Happy Meal was two ninety nine in Mac, two sixty nine in um, Stoke. Just because of the area it's in. It is that uh, I didn't feel very good in that. I think got mugged in that place. So it can handle me. Yeah, but it's not the roughest place in the world. No. But in the UK, shall I say. They're all a lot rougher. Yeah. Stoke's not bad, but like it's like, it's one of them, it depends which area you go to. There's certain places. It's like... It's a sub-rock. Nah, oh, no, right. Gushing out of the way. Yeah, I'm going back up now. So what he does is puts a constant power through. Yeah, but it's just trying to spin through it. Especially what the 9 5 on that last burst, if they're wall swapping, it will just keep trying to go for a thousand. Yeah. Until it clears. It's over this one, it will just keep climbing, pushing it a thousand. The advantage of that, it takes, even with no load, like, no actual load in, it will take ages to get to actually get to a thousand. Because it's so, it gets like 900, it's slowly climbing. Yeah, and it gets like 970 and then that'll be it. <laughs> so on a balanced low, that actually goes about 11 of it, because the motor's got no resistor on it. So it's, it's, as James told me, it takes full mains power to do that final burst. So it's basically, the machine is telling it to go as fast as you want. Essentially, you can probably get taller on it if you want. But what I like with this, it's a nice long spin again, not a few bursts. Yeah, the half points have always been a bit too short. Yeah. Because it's like, it would spin up, and then it's still sort of locking. So like, the yeah. water's still there, isn't it? Yeah. It's not drained out. 
some of them were more not so bad, it'll actually stop and then end up redistributing itself. Because the drum will come to a complete stop and it'll kick back in. Hey man, the box one just did that. Oh, what did the. No, I'm just saying. What does it get? It's 769.1, which we still did that. We've got a video of it. I, I, I did a separate video of it, because again, that was. Sizzle lock for 17 minutes. What? Oh my god. It's gone through it eventually, but it took 15 minutes to do that. To do it. It's on there, so I've got 6,000 views. The scene doesn't come through the drawer and then like fading all the front of it. Yeah, but every machine still has a steam pipe. Yeah. But it doesn't come out the drawer anymore because there's a gap in the drawer. Round about here. Yeah. So it just, just starts drawing down there instead. Yeah. Unlike your hot points. Including the WFs and the WTs. Oh yeah, they were fixed right onto the front, yeah, weren't they? The drawers. And yeah, every time you add sky, what happens? It comes out of there. It comes out of there. But same with, the, same with the WT I had. Put it on quite 95, halfway through, steam comes pouring out. Or when the washer dryer is just a steam like that. Steam drains over. Oh, now I can put the... Shit, shit that water out. Yes, so we can only put fabric softener in uh, the second rinse because for some bizarre reason it siphons it in through. It's probably because of the way the jet spray is. The gap for the where well, the fabric softener is is slightly lower than the actual. Yeah, yeah thing. so it's probably. So we think that when it fills up with water, it's that powerful. It's kind of going yeah, over. Yeah, because this is like it, into it. it, it, it like, it's like vortex. Like that it will just take everything straight in. Although, at least for 1978, that you've actually got a fabric software component. Yeah. Some of these hoovers, the very good electromode ones, did you even have a draw on them? There's some that didn't even have drawers. Oh, I've seen that, yeah. Yeah, the Electro Matchbox version. You literally had to put it in the, in the drum. It was a bath product then, I think it was. How will take me away? I thought it was used to be a bath product. Basically, that dial revolution rotation. every single cycle. It's one rotation, yeah. And, and then the later electrons, because you program H on this is just spin drive, but the later electrons have spin drive 1100, then you have spin drive 800 and spin drive 500. Because the next model after this, you had to, it, the A311 was the same, you had all the three buttons for the spin. Then the next, the actual proper electrons, they automatically did their own spin. Right. Yeah. Yeah, program A to H basically, or, double, or B to H in one way. That makes And then you just control the cycle by pressing those buttons with it. Yeah. I find it interesting that minimum iron at 50 and non fast cause at 40 are the same program. Yeah. Does it actually mean it then just gets just heats yeah. to. Uh, does that mean it just heats to 40 then? I need to try that out. I need to get one of those, uh, those... Oh, those I need to get one as well. Yeah. And the tachometers you can get as well, how fast the machine's going. Apparently you can do that anyway with a phone app. Oh, you measure measures it with the vibrations. Oh, well, you... And then uh, for the hertz... Oh, Alright, well, you'll, you'll definitely work with this machine then. So let's see if we can find one. Because the hertz, the, the actual vibrations that detect how fast basically it's going then. Because you, 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 it measures the biggest one and therefore it's one rotation, isn't it? Because the most unbalanced bit is always in the same place. Yeah. That's smooth. Well, especially because it's got a hoodie in there. It's got a bit more of a sun drop this time. Yeah. For an 1100 spin though, that, that actually drives it. I found that to spin better than the Mila. Really strange. What's it called, the like, ice seismometer or something? What? Ice seismometer or something. Called, uh, 
a guy who was a wheel of walking guy with it. Sound meter, GPS, vibration meter. A C, yeah, seismometer, S E I S. That's the seismometer. Oh, probably for the iPhones, it's called the I seismometer. Let's have a go with that then. Uh, let's install that. I'll play with that then. Yeah, I'll make that from the font. Although the only thing that's the lid or this got that out of it is I think I need to reinforce that. Yeah, but that's where it will measure from. Oh. Because you, if, it's, if it's vibrating at 500, 500 times a minute, 500 RPM, then. You'll probably get an accurate. <laughs> That'll load it, and I usually get the. Uh, Neither advert, but. That's one of them. Yeah, it's only just three rinses. It's going to be four like all the others do. <laughs> Guess it works. Yeah, it sort of does. Probably wouldn't actually run that all. Oh, I like Chris's Bosch he's got. Yeah, well that's, uh, but John's got the same one, but I recall. Like he had a water driver. Oh, that was very nice. Because I recorded John, so John was in there. It's very, very nice. I saw the picture and I was like, what's that Indusit type machine got? Turns out to be the Ariston Margarita. Yeah. yeah. I saw the side of it, I was like, he's not got an eco set. No. But the spin pattern on that is all interesting. Oh, well, because it does a wash and dry, or is it? No, it's washed, just wash it. Oh, okay. Uh, it does say 1100, but we know it goes to 12. You can tell, yeah. You can always tell exactly. it's going faster. Um, but what was interesting is the hits and spins. What is it? Is it the 600? It goes about 600 after the wash, 800 after the first rinse, oh. and then 1000 after the second rinse. It's not like the innocent, which is just a constant 600 slow. 600 slow. That's what we want to see. Yeah. The spin starts at 4 program H. Yeah. Look, we've got ages to go, so we're on distribution now. But it starts there, the spin. Because you actually get an additional quick fire on the burst, and it, it, now it's funny, when it redistributes, it just tumbles clockwise. It stops it tumbles clockwise again, it just doesn't go into clockwise. That's why I find Hoover very interesting with their program, whereas Hotpoint you knew it. Right? If you know Hotpoint, you know Hotpoint. What, the programming? Yeah, but Hoover just like, there's so many things I'm like, oh, I didn't know it was done. Where's this from? Pudgy. Australia. And that as well, that's from Australia. So it's the Radium. Downy and Drift are from America. How did you not get pulled over by customs? No. What's this? Well, no, awesome. they said to me, okay, what have you got in there? So, oh, I've just got washing powder. Oh, okay, we're not bothered. Oh, okay. I don't realise it. <laughs> What's this? It's washing powder, I swear! Well, next thing you do, I'm locking a Westinghouse laundromat through security. What's that? Oh, well, we shouldn't be. Oh, okay, we're not well. <laughs> you definitely wouldn't be able to fit an American front loader on there. They call these compacts. Though. They do, yes. That's funny. That's what I'm and I'm like, okay, I'm like, you need to see a, a, Bendix, a Bendix compact. Then. And then you need to see a baby Bendix or a Zanussi compact. What would they call That's like nothing. And then you'll get, get to it and you go, Dolph. Right! They'll put literally like that in and go, no, no, it's full. <laughs> well, that's the interest about the, the compacts as well, is that there's a new seat still claiming to be three kilo, even though they could quite easily turn around and go with the four kilo. Yeah, they it, can fit more. They can easily, they could go, you know, like everybody else, because they always always go, oh, well, we're going to open the, 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 the four and a half kilo, six kilo now, six kilo's actually now, seven kilo. So we've got an 8 kilo Zanissi uh, that runs with, it's the new, it's, it's made, it's a 2015 one, 
that have been made for oh, times like the Plexidex. Yeah. Well, the Plexidex is a nice stupid one part of the rock. But, <laughs> Well, got the, it's, that's the 1301, isn't it? That's the 1301. It's got, uh, it's got the old 7 kilo jet system. Then. Do you want me? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So so it's got standard big size motor, big pump and everything in it. The compact. It's got basically got the internals of the... Oh, uh, no, the compact. We're talking about the compact. Yeah. Uh, it's all about the same. Uh, the compact's the 3, the three kilo drum. Uh, it, will still, it still has the standard... Uh, the deck motor. Um, or AAC motor. Well, EAC became the deck anyway. Still got the standard Zeus in the deck motor. Still got the standard pump. It's got a, mm. it's got a rather big heater for it. Shame Walmart actually stupid compact. The FC1200 has a 1950 volt heater in it. Yeah. That's the one with all like, the hidden programs on it. Yeah. Hidden pre wash, hidden. What's the other thing out of it? There's a hidden pre wash and there's a hidden. Um, one one program somewhere. So what's that basically where they didn't mark it out? There was no yeah, they don't, yeah, because they only had enough room above the thing for like ten programs. So they could only mark ten programs out there. If you had like the next or something the time, you had fourteen marked out. Had fourteen programs marked out. But it's like the, the synthetic the six the sixty watch could have been marked out. But they decided just to put the mixed fabrics. That's why there's a massive gap between yeah. the end of the cartons and the start of mixed fabrics. I think the uh, uh you actually go to yeah. pass pass through the pre wash that's hidden away and then pass the sixty wash style as well. There you go. Now it's been distributed. But well, it's like the uh, the green service that I've got in. That's got hidden. That's got a hidden sixty. But it's actually one notch before the actual fifty program on the delicate side. Yeah, it's like the first editions they don't mark out the silks program. No, but it's, it's still there. Even the red, it's got the rinse hole point but it doesn't have a rinse hole for it. Because it, it clicks for the short spin, then it clicks again. And I never used to know why I did that until I watched your video. I was like, right, it has a rinse hold mark on it. There's a rinse hold mark for that. It's still but there. Yeah, because this goes at the program K in the first edition of program J. So, well, weirdly, the washer dryer has a different program. Oh, really? There's no hidden silk program. Because there's actually no notch for it. Like, with the washer dryers, between the final spin and the dry, there's two notches. And it's saying the, the, the short spin. Well, all right, so that knocks down the that knocks out the two notches. Yeah, because the dryer acts as a stop, isn't it? That's why. Yeah, because obviously with here you've got colour synthetics, does one tumble, advances to Judah. Yeah. Then it advances to heat, then it advances to silks, then it advances to heat, and then it advances to the quick wash. On the wash and dryer, it does the same. It will do two tum a tumble, go to gin. And then it will go heat, and then we have a heat of 50 or 40, depending on what it's selected, and then it will click to H. Quick wash. Quick wash. So what heat is stayed in wash frames is not out. So it's completely it's manufactured for that. So the actual time for the washer dryers is actually is completely different. So it's not compatible. You can see. It's not compatible. You couldn't do it. Wow. Because between the final spin, there's two notches, not oh, one. One. Because it clicks into place. Basically where F is on here is where the dry is where dry will be. Because it has to physically click in place to dry. So theoretically F is where dry is, then it's two notches, so F is where G is, um, G is where H is, H is where J is, and then to it's still on the rinse hold stage for it, yeah. but then it's still two notches from short spin to So the they have the half heat dryer. So they push it's K over a bit how more. The one slot spin doesn't do the anti tangle off. No, it doesn't. That's weird. So that's why Creed. But, but they do also mention it's also on wall spin as well. Yeah, because Creed says wall spin only. Their XL wall and simplicity says wall spin. You've got far spin only, slow, slow spin, spin, then wall, wall spin. spin. Like, Which is also a different colour as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's faded more, isn't it? It's green. Green. They, they mark um, the the fast spin as grey, but with a full kind full of working, yeah. And then obviously the short spin half, but it's still grey. And then wall yeah. is half, but green. I wonder they call it long spin and short spin. Why? Fast spin and that hopper won't be different, no. I know you actually have actually got 
long spin and short spin on this. Oh, long fast spin, yeah. Well, then you've got fast spin and short, fast spin and slow spin on the wash and dryers. Or you've got the 1200s. Oh, yeah, it's good to do. Because. Take a look on that. Short spin is, although in the manual it's listed as short slow spin, it's actually a fast spin because it quickly goes to a thousand on the short spin. Unless yeah. you select slow spin, then it will only be too, too far enough. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. On this, it would still be the same. 900 or so in it then. It? Well, if it's a thousand machine, it goes to a thousand on the synthetics. Right, so this does 900. Well, if it's 1112, it goes to 900 on the synthetics. Yeah. But it's the fact that this is still 1100, and then you still put one in short spin. This is obviously because when it comes to printing on the drawers, it's cheaper to do that. But because the water dryers, That's definitely, it definitely goes fast. It goes fast, I'm sure it's like 900 or something. Or about 1,000 will get to it. So it does two minutes at each speed. And then when it evolves, it cuts lower out for a second, slows down the next few seconds. Yeah, but the little wall. Um, no, so it, it, on wall it slows down and then it clicks again to advance over again. Yeah. But that doing that now, it will. So what it is, the programming is the machine to go to 800. And it's got the motor, so basically the motor has to rewire itself to go up to 800, so it does the level of the thing with. It's like what the world will do.
one of the reasons why I kind of I think the tips with lab tests at the minute because we've done it for basic reasons. Mm -hmm. the one I'm also planning on doing with the Bosch Classics still on the car. What lab test? Yeah, well I've already thrown towels in, haven't I? Mm -hmm. Someone said, well, how about you take the front off? <laughs> and I have. And I've managed to wire it up, so I've got the front completely off. Mm -hmm. The trouble is, it's where the water's gonna go. Yeah, because it's all going to fly out, right? And any water that goes in the pumps is going to trip electrics. But I thought, well actually, all I can, what I can do is just take the filter out, unplug, plug the uh, uh, pump. The heater's already unplugged anyway, because it trips anyway. Okay. Um, and then try and wrap the control panel up with some, some waterproof, yeah. so it doesn't ruin yeah. electrics. And then that should work. And so if water goes on, right? Don't What's funny, the 70s machine does an anti it just does that for like a half a minute or so, it just tumbles. And yet the 9 5 shot can hit you off. Yeah. Oh, oh the logic's after this. Yeah. Shot. I, someone says it's probably because they didn't have room to put it on the timer. There's so much on the logic timers, maybe there wasn't a thing for an anti tank on. Possibly. They're saying that all the machines really have to that. Yeah. Every single machine, because they Service super warm thousand, hot points. That's good. Now they're just pumping out the remaining water. Yeah. Even the AEGs. And they would have had space for an anti-free. What about the 80s ones like that? Even the 90s, even the 645 doesn't do an anti-free. So it's not one of those. It slows down, possibly, but then you've got stuff.